what's up guys it's your boy Pete and welcome back to planting with Pete now if you're new here this channel consists of almost everything house plant related that tickles your fancy hit the subscribe button sit back and enjoy the video all right guys on today's video we are um, I'm gonna take you basically show you guys the process of what I do and what's inside of my um, soil mix now mind you I have a couple a couple of plants in soil all right now the soil the properties or amendments um, are very different from a lot of these here plants like anything calathea ish wise has more of the retaining soil that holds more water um, that's usually definitely because of <laughs> they need water and they don't need water then they definitely are prone to spider mites and we don't need that so they dry out a lot quicker than I need them to even though they're in soil but especially now um, we're in winter I have the heater going now you probably can hear it to be honest with you and then also have the fan going as well for one it's kind of cool you got what is shaking is that me oh that's me I'm sorry you guys I'm shaking the um the anyway um, but yeah it's just dry in here is 33 percent humidity which is very very low for in here um, the temperature has dropped as well in 60 through 9 69 degrees in here it was 80 well two videos ago it was 80 but it's um, stabling out but anyway um, I'm going to show you guys what's in this my aeroid basically this is my aeroid mix you guys anything that you're seeing or have seen that has soil in it has a area has my aeroid mix but um, with plants like my mykings and and like I said before my calatheas, gopergias, prayer plants they're in more retained soil I just add more parts of the miracle Grow potting mix yeah potting mix um, instead of the potting soil however that goes the soil is a lot lighter fluffier area the potting mix or the garden is it what well, this says potting mix um this is the ones that we use like in the garden um i guess it's milk grow <laughs> and that's soil so anyway um we're going to go through this here but what i do use i guess we'll just go through that their process um, i'm doing this a couple of people did ask for this i got a uh, two dms on not Facebook Instagram um, about this and then someone asked me on the older video um, about my aeroid mix so um, I definitely haven't did an aeroid mix video and I don't know how long um, I do know that I've done dirty spag which is what I use but anyway um, like I said a lot of these plants are still in soil if they came in soil they're staying in soil um, usually anything philodendron Hoya has come from a cutting so that is why you see my dirty spag and mix. That's what they're grown in. Um, that is my preferred choice of um, potting substrate. But when I do need to use it, I do know how to make it. And I, a matter of fact, I, did I this store? Yeah, I used to sell it in the store as well. You guys, my Etsy shop, my potting mix, which I had to stop <laughs> selling it because I couldn't keep my own freaking potting mix. So anyway you guys what we're going to do is mix up this stuff um i did go to lowe's today i guess i can keep saying today i guess it's, if you make as many as videos i do a day you really can say today um but um yeah i'm going to angle the camera down i also found some um orchid potting mix that i'm going to use um for my anthurium that was a uh, very yes, a very just weird when it rolled off my tongue and did not sound right. Um, my Ethereum Crystallinum Magnifica. I know, right? I had it right. I always second guess myself when it comes to this freaking Crystallinum. Crystallinum is what I have. I want the Clarinervium. Yes, I want a Clarinervium. I don't know if I want a Clarinervium just because I want a Clarinervium. I could have. Let's get into this mix, you guys. I've been running my face 
Um, so I have my bin down here. Um, I have all the materials. What we're not going to do is talk about my... Well, you guys know. Um, I don't clean the floors and things until... I do it maybe like once a month, which is honestly a lot compared to a lot of people who have roof spaces and they're not 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 clean but you know what i mean there's there's stuff if, anyway um yeah i usually do like a once a month completely clean with me so yeah don't talk about the floor um but let's angle this camera down oh let me just pull my, my pants leg down you guys and you can see the floor and all its glory and we go ahead and get started oh my goodness where are we? Alright guys, so... Oh, well I can actually scoot back some more. Ha! Here we go. Alright, so, um... This... Ouch! This here potty mix. You guys definitely should know what potty mix look like. Um... It has, like, some shards of... Um, like, bark. Um... I guess you would, things that you would find like outside in the soil. Um, but this here actually, should I have brought something to scoop? I don't know if I should have or is that a myth? <laughs> should I have not? I don't know. Um, I have everything I need. It's just not in here. So what we're, we're, what we're not finna do you guys is use my hand for every scoop. All right, so um, this is, whoa, the potty mix that I do use. Um, it's usually miracle Grow. Um, nothing special. I think it's this one is like it's under ten dollars, you guys. I don't I don't remember. Um, I'm not going to make a lot of this again. I don't use a lot of whoa soil, but since I'm actually out and like I said, I needed to pot up some some plants. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, you, I don't know if you can see it, but, um, this here soil is a lot darker. Whoa, I'm glad I got this air on. Fan. There we go. Oh, sheesh. All right, guys, so if you hear the fan and stuff, sorry, I, I don't want all this in here. Um, so I'm pulling it out the door. Uh, what are we doing now? Oh, yeah, but yeah, I'm not going to make a lot of this. Again, I don't use a lot of soil. And even if I wanted to, let me think about it. No, I don't have anything extra that I want to transfer in soil. Um, so we have that. Then we also have, is that enough? Let's let's do a little bit more, you guys. Oh. Can I do it? I mean, I technically could use the rest of this here soil. Something is telling me not to. So we're just going to not to. Alright, then next, what I'm going to do is add in, um, I have my own grade of mulch. This is regular garden mulch, you guys. I use it as a topper, which you guys will see um, also in a future video um, of me using it to layer the top portion of my um, plants again just to cover up the soil to encourage so I just use the whole thing I mean it looks there we go um to encourage <laughs> to encourage water to keep the water from evaporating so I use this to kind of like a top dressing it helps also with your look at this leaf helps also with pests, meaning gnats, which I don't like. Which the temperature is starting to warm up, so I'm starting to see them. And of course, they're on the plants with soil. Um, and a lot of those are some of those are new. Um, some of those were repotted and just wasn't recovered. There's a lot going on, but this is what we're looking at. Now you guys, again, this is some stuff that you will find out in the woods if you dig. Your backyard if you dig, your front yard if you dig, you dig me. 
All right, and then we also have, do I have my scissors? Yes. Um, oh, star green. That is so washed out. Whoa, ho, ho. there we go. Star green perlite, you guys. Uh, I don't know how big this bag is. It really doesn't matter how big your bag is. Um, if you're not pouring all the perlite or pouring all your substance in the bag. So, let's lock this back in. Come on. All right. We're going to open this gal up. I, I should have turned maybe oh too far down there. all right guys so we'll be back after this her lights well let me just it'll be a little loud all right so um oh yeah this is just stuff oh guys oh no god Oh, that's that's still like holding in the air. So, is that better? All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, aside from this stuff. All right, guys. So this is what we're looking like um, after I mix that deadly <laughs> perlite in. Sheesh. All right, this stuff is like. Let's get this bag. All right. And we're just going to put this right back inside of this here bag. Cause this stuff is just. All right, and then last but not least, we have uh, orchid whew, orchid potting mix. And with this, again, Miracle Pro, nothing special. Um, it's just more of a. If you guys never seen full. Well, Orchid mix before. It's like little chunks with um, little green fast draining mix, as you can see. Half a bag. Uh -oh. um, so I probably should have. Oh, it's fine. It is fine. All right. And then this is what we have left so what I'm doing as you can see simple and easy uh, mixing this stuff up now you guys um, when you're making your own now this pro like shards or I don't know I use shards is that a word it sounds wordable um, but it doesn't matter what your aeroid mix is as long as it works for you you guys, your Elroy mix can be very, very, very dense. It's also just based on your surrounding temperatures, the air, the time of year it is. Um, maybe your plants are up higher in the air. And it can hold a lot more of that retentive water. But um, if you're a heavy waterer, I wouldn't recommend you doing that their process but this is it you guys that we have here for my um aeroid mixture as you can see very easy to put together the only hard part about doing aeroid mix if you're using some type of perlite which is yeah 
Um, especially when you have to like not try to kill yourself and inhale. I mean, I'm pretty sure some people do inhale a little, little of it, even though you're not supposed to. But would you just seen all that? I just probably would have fell out. Um, but anywho, um, yeah, guys, this is my Aeroid mix. Did you guys? Here we go. Yeah, I'm making a mess. That you guys will be seeing again. So any plant from here from now on that I do use that has to have soil, like a lot of these need to be. Um, either repotted or up-potted, especially this year. <sighs> Neon that you guys can't see. But anywho, she needs to um, definitely repot or up-pot um, because the, when I got her off of clearance, there was like no soil and she was swimming in water. It's a whole thing, you guys. But um, yeah, if anything, I might take out some of these older plants and refresh the soil that has this soil in it. But all in all, um, I try to keep like my Hoyas and things and sphagnum moss. Um, anything that has a very sensitive root system definitely gets um, treated in soil, unless it's a philodendron. Philodendrons, regardless, would be in sphagnum moss. Um, that's what works for me. But yeah, guys, that is it here for today's video. Everything in here is a considerable ash looking white. So yeah, I don't know if I need to like go gargle or that probably won't work I don't know <laughs> but that is it here guys for today's video uh, please do my favor with that like button let me know, know down below what type of amendments do you put in to make your soil your soil instead of using just regular um, potting soil mix and then putting your plants in I know some of you guys do that nothing wrong with it but um, let me know down in the comment section below what do you use inside of yours again don't think I have in mind or some of the basic things, mulch, orchid bark, perlite, garden soil, and, well, orchid potting mix as well. Um, it didn't have just the, the chunks I was looking for, even though the chunks came inside of that. Anywho, um, let me know down in the comment section below. Um, all the things that you do see will be down in the description box below. Anything that I do use on the channel will be in the description box below as well. Go and check those out. Some of those come with, some of those do come with a discount code that can save you some coin to check out as well. And I think that is it, you guys. I'm trying to make this very short and straight to the point. I need to do some watering because these calatias are just aggravating. I just watered you like <laughs> two days ago, but it's on schedule. It's like two-day watering in here. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys on the next video.